back to this segment with Chase Card, and this segment is called Cooking in the Blind. So today we have our homemade sandwich. I did my favorite type of sandwich. Got our stuff. So what you do, you can cut simple Y stick like this, get it all sanitized over your heater. Just let it rest there for a second. And for this we might need to turn it up a little bit, but I think it's but I think we're good. So once that's all done, you take your sandwich, set it on the Y, and you just rest it there. And you can do it, you can check it. And if you want to add some seasoning, you can do some dirt. But I'm not gonna do that. So we haven't seen any deer yet. But it smells amazing. See how that side is. It's getting a little harder. Now we gotta do the other side. And then you could just do it till your bread turns into toast. And it'll eventually look good. <sighs> it smells like burning bread. <laughs> but it's not burning, so we just let it sit there. And once it keeps getting warm, then you can just keep on flipping it like this. On my sandwich, I got some bread, some turkey, some cheese, and some mustard. Now, my friends at school think that's not delicious, but it is. You just have to try it. <coughs> so then you just sit here and let, let it keep on cooking. <sighs> smells good. You can smell it. see how it's turn a little brown you just do that until you get it how you want it and it's good but anyways we haven't seen anything my cousin Justin said he was tracking a buck for someone up behind us in the tornado stuff and it might hopefully it'll come right down through there and we can get a shot at it all right time to flip it again Steaming. That looks good. Some really good. Oh, you gotta do something. Alright. But, this heaters, we've been cooking some goldfish that you've seen on the. What is it called? Something kebab, kebab. And then I was cooking some pistachios over it. And then I was cooking some sunflower seeds over it. Oh, that's getting hot. But, anyways. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's looking good. Now, Dad, if you did you already eat your sandwich? But I can cook yours up. But, Dad, if you haven't ate yours yet, I can cook yours up for you if you'd like. Would you want me to? Okay. And then, you gotta have it right about here. Let's see, and you can let it sit for a little bit. And the meat's getting all ready. Oh, you just keep flipping it till how you like it. It'll take me a few, a few more minutes. Some sizzling. You hear it? Anyways, we just go till it's golden brown. Time to flip it again. Oh yeah, look at that. It's getting all toasty. A little burnt on the edges, but I forgot to put my vest back on after going to the bathroom. But anyways, back to the cooking genuine bread that we got from Walmart about maybe like three dollars five dollars for a loaf or so like that <coughs> it's very good and you just flip it again that's the oh wow look at that burnt piece there ew that is good. looks good yummy
Alright guys, it's taste test time. Mm-hmm. It tastes good. Cooking with Chase in the Wild and the no deer zone. I've only seen three deer so far today. So we got some downtime and I got some goldfish. Got our heater and I'm putting them on a stick making the ultimate kebab. And here's, here's the recipe to do it. You just poke them on, slide it like this, and you just rotate it like a s'more about four or five seconds. And when you're done, you just go up and you pop them off. Thank you for watching this cooking episode.